<laughs> you see how they didn't include that bitch in there? You see, you see how they didn't mention that shit? Uh, he, just, he just ran out of space. Yeah, he mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, because Twitter got a limit. He ran out of gotta, space. They gotta, they gotta character, character limit. limit. Twitter, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why. Sometimes, like, you know, it's real quick. Like, you want to be more polite? The more, the more polite you are, the shorter the year, right? But then, the more cooler you are with someone, the longer the year. Yeah. Yeah. Then you know you cool, you know? It's levels to this year. Is it? Yeah. We almost at the end of the year. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you just gotta. You know. Yo, 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 yo. Another episode. The final episode this season of... The Kickoff Lounge. The Kickoff Lounge. Your boy Al Pizzle. And your boy Big Miles. We in here. Man, we have finally made it to the end of the road. I'm not singing. I thought you were going to hit that next note. <laughs> nah, nah. Yo, we finally made it, man. We have an MLS champion for the year of 2023, and that is... The Columbus Crew. Yo. Shout out to the homie Cuchito. We're going to talk yeah. about that game in just a little bit. Handle business. They handle business, and I don't think people, aside from Columbus Crew fans, had the crew winning the whole thing. Yeah, and most importantly, mm. Orlando only lost to the eventual champs. Yo, and I would feel good about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Most importantly. Anytime any of my teams in any sport lose in the playoffs, yeah. I'd rather have them lose to the team that wins it all. That just makes me feel better about it's myself. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, of course we lost. We lost to the champs. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. Was, if you would have had to come against the champs, you would have lost too. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you right? can say that to anyone like, else. Justify like, the everyone season. Everyone else lost to him. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk about the MLS Cup final in just a few. Um, hey, man, the day that, I'm going to be honest with you, maybe not a lot of people knew about. It was today. It was today? <laughs> yeah, bro. The MLS Super Draft was today. Hey, let's talk about why. Like, mm. why does not everybody know that's happening, bro? If we want the MLS to, to pop off a little bit more, I, it should be more of a thing. Like, we talked about All-Star Weekend, yep. Draft, all these things that mm. get a lot of a lot of views yeah. in other sports in America. Let's make, let's make some, you know what I mean, some sauce about this. I know exactly why, dog. Because when you think about... Uh, American football, when you think about uh, basketball, the drafts, the NBA and NFL drafts are so big because there's such a huge college market, right, yeah. on TV. Yeah. Huge college market. And then you don't really pick up players that are not playing outside of college. Exactly. For the most part, and, when it comes and, to the NFL and, and, and NBA. And these guys are already famous in college, yep. too. And, yeah. But when it comes to soccer, though, like how many players around the world really come from a college team yeah. in terms yeah. of soccer? They it's don't. usually academies. Yeah. It's usually um, coming up programs. It's usually like traveling teams. Mm -hmm. it, it's those kind of players that, that are able to, to kind of get up the system in terms of trying to make it to the first team of a pro team. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. So like it, of course... We're not going to be that excited about a super draft when really you only draft college kids. Yeah. There's nobody like really paying attention to that. There's a lot of other quality in different yeah. spaces. When you got freaking Suarez coming to the league and Messi coming to the league and these guys, you know, mm -hmm. becoming MLS players, it's hard to kind of be like, oh, yeah. Oh, and we drafted this guy from yeah. Johnson & Johnson University. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, look, look at the NBA. You know, Victor Wembayama. French guy, seven yeah. foot tall. He's, he's just a phenom, dog. Yeah. Everybody, like, anybody that knows basketball has heard that name. Like, man, like, he's really, he's about to join the NBA, this and that. He's about to do his thing. Oh, my God, he's amazing. Like, there's already hype around these players before they join, they join yeah. the, the, uh, the respective professional league in their sport, right? There is zero hype. Around <laughs> college around soccer. any of college soccer players. Yeah, not to yeah, say that yeah. they're not good, man. I mean, it's there's just... been a lot of good players that's come out of the uh, MLS Super Draft. Like, who? Like Kyle Aaron, mm. baller. Yep. We got Andre Blake. Yep. Yadman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Roman Celetano, the keeper from um, Sensi. Yep. Maurice Edu. Shout out Mo Edu. And who was it that Champ was talking about? Duncan McGuire for Orlando. That's right, Balled man. Balled out this season. MLS so. Super Draft product right there. And um, hey, man, when you're the number one draft pick in any sport, whether we know you or not, that's an impressive. Facts. 
thing to have in your resume, you feel me? So big time congrats to the number one overall pick, Tyrese Spicer, midfielder from Lipscomb University. NYCFC, their eighth pick uh, is also from that same university. Oh, dope, dope. Yeah. Okay. So um, they got a good school this year. I think he's white. Tyrese Spicer? I never met nah, a white Tyrese. No, nah, he's Is black. he he's black? Brother. Uh, he's a brother. <laughs> he's black as hell. He's a brother. Yeah, I, I definitely saw some white boys like yeah. on that on that top five, top ten list for facts, sure. Facts. That's what kind of got me confused. You see, that's what I mean, though. You know, we don't know these players like nah, that. Nah. Like if you even if you ask the the guy that watches all MLS or that watches that is just so knowledgeable in soccer, you don't really think about college the top names. So- soccer, college soccer players in the nation, you don't know them. No? Yeah, like you were saying for other sports, bro. These guys are famous as hell in college already. Like, yeah. Facts. You know what I mean? That's it, man. So there should be that, but this all could be cultivated, bro. You yeah. Know what I mean, I feel like there's got to be more more buzz around it coming out of, even coming out of college, or even if they're coming from somewhere else. We got to yeah. put more buzz around the, the draft and who's coming to you at the play soccer. Yep. Even if those big announcements, like like we, the SWATs and all that, what if they just waited till like draft day? To make those kind of announcements Man, and shit. I don't Swat know, is, bro. Like, yeah, Swat is going, like, oh, yeah, let me just wait to sign this contract until this team no, signs No, no, no. Announcements. Players. Announcements. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, strategic announcements. Like, yo, uh, you know what I mean? We're going to be dropping all the news about dope transfers on draft day. Like, I'm not mad at that. Make it a whole moment. Make it a whole thing. Like, yeah. like, 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 um, when kids are going from high school to college, they have signing day. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's called, right? Signing day? Yeah, signing yeah. day. Yeah. Word. So, and, like, yeah, make it like a they, a show. Pretend to sign the contract. You already signed it, but pretend to sign it. I on love draft that. Day for like a, you know what I mean? That's so dope, man. I'm with that. That's a good idea. Put that in the suggestion box, Stick man. Off lounge. Come suggestion on now. Suggestion box, boy. Hey, man. Number one pick went to Toronto. He going to that six, eh? Yeah. Tyree Spicer. Good luck, homie. Hey, man. Also, big time shout out. Some good news. Uh, your boy, man. Let's let's Papi. stay in Orlando right now. Talk Oscar to him. Oscar Pareja. Bro. Bro. Contract extension. He's here till 2025. Nice. How do you feel about that? Se- bro, second in the league, bro. Second in the league overall, not just the East. Almost Supporter Shield winners. We had a great year. Like I said, we only lost the eventual champs with 10 men. Mm, <laughs> By yeah. the way, we had 10 men. So, I like, know. bro, it's, bro, we did great. I'm happy with our run, you know, when it's all said and done. I, I like what Bade has doing with the team right now. I feel like it's only, it's only up from here. Bro, the fact that he brought an Orlando team that was not expected to do what y'all did this season, not man. Not even close. Not even, like, honestly, where did you think Orlando was going to fall uh, in the standings by the end of the year? When the season started? I thought we were going to be, like, just barely above playoff line. Like, I thought we were going to be, like, six, six or fifth. And that's a big... And, and, and we went, we were in second. <laughs> and Orlando, you know, they don't, like, you guys don't have a sexy roster list, right? Nah, like, bro. You don't have the Jordi Albas, the Lionel Messi. Yeah. You know. We had the right team, dog. We had the right team this year, like, bro, together. That's a front office. Yeah. Applause. Yeah, we That's did a well. coaching yeah. applause right there, man. Yo, Pareja is doing an incredible job in Orlando City right Absolutely, now, man. So, bro. big time shout outs to him. Yo, let's go to the MLS Cup right now, dog. The team who beat us. La final. <laughs> LAFC, Columbus Crew. Man, what a game. It started off 1-0 Columbus Crew in Columbus, Ohio. Then it went immediately into 2-0 Columbus Crew in Columbus, Ohio. Second half came, man. Up until a certain moment, the crew was dominating. Yeah, though. no, honestly, the, what, it wasn't that competitive. It wasn't game, that bro. competitive for a it minute, It was straight though. up like, hey, we, we, we're we in the driver's seat this whole game. Yo, the Two first nil. half was sad to watch the, type of thing. That Buonga goal was a consolation at best. Nah, that was nah, a nah, I'm not going to call it a consolation. No, nah, bro, it was. They, there was nah, n- like, they I didn't see any any route back into the game for them at any point, what, bro. They still, they still came. But that's the thing about LAFC. They still kept themselves in the game, though, man. Yeah. They were like literally just a couple touches away from just tying the game, bro. They were like Co- coasting, but they, but the crew, crew dominated. Was, yeah, crew was coasting two nil the whole time, and it was kind of like. But they couldn't close it out, though. What do you mean? They couldn't close it out, and they couldn't put in that third goal, bro. Oh no, they didn't have yeah, to. coasting two nil. It what I saw was after two one. Mm. I thought the crew was gonna score again. <laughs> so I thought the crew was gonna score. I after thought two so one. too. I really like. I was rooting for the crew, but then I was kind of rooting like. 
at the end for LAFC. I just to wanted pull, to see because a good a good game. Yeah, yeah man. you want to see like a, a extra time. Honestly, fuck both teams, man. NYC is not in. Like, <laughs> I don't like. I ain't care who won the game. I definitely just wanted to see a good game. Yeah. And usually, if you know my team is not in the game, then I try to root for the Eastern team. You yeah, know? no, yeah, yeah, like Eastern, you know, yeah. at least somewhat home turf a little bit. Facts. Uh, Unless they would have beat y'all. <laughs> yeah, that would have been ass, bro. Exactly. Now you know how I feel. I know, man. <laughs> I know. Hey, man. Way too early prediction, though. Who's in the final next year, Mister Miles, Big Miles, Mister Three and Zero in boxing, professional boxing record? Who's in the final next year? Let's see. Hmm. I'll tell you right now, there's no reason, absolutely no reason, with a full healthy squad and not and Messi not joining in like the freaking 18th game of the season. Yeah, no, I know. There's no reason. You gotta say it. Why Inter Miami should not be in the final, dog? Yeah, not even no the, not, in the final. Just win the whole thing. Facts. You know, just, if we're gonna say that, we're gonna say it. But yeah. Florida. It's purple. Ooh, Orlando. We gonna step on that shit, boy. We ain't. Ah. Yeah, man. So, so Miami not going to the finals? Nah. Though. We're going to the finals, bro. What about conference finals? Mess, uh, Inter Miami, Orlando. Can we do that? Florida Derby Can, yeah. for the conference final. We're gonna fight to the death, bro. La- Yo, so we're gonna fight to the death. This season, we had the Hell is Real Derby. We're gonna have that battle of we're Ohio. Have the Florida, the Florida Classico. I would love that for the Eastern Conference the Florida Finals. Florida Classico, yeah. bro. Honestly, we're about I w- to uh. step on their ass, bro. I, hey, I don't know how, but we're not going mad at to. that. We're going to. I'm not mad at that, man. What about in the West? In the West, who's repping the West? It's gonna be. I don't know. It's gonna be a team we haven't seen in a while. I'm going with Seattle, dog. Yeah, I'm going. I'm feeling. Yeah. I'm feeling Seattle's like they're they're kind of on the on, on the come up a little bit, man. Yeah. Western Conference Finals next year for me is going to be Seattle versus SKC. Western Conference Western Finals. Western Conference Finals. Bro. Nah, St. Saint Louis. Saint Louis yeah, yeah St. Louis is going to end up. They're, they they're had do okay. Yo, then. honestly, I'm going to even say that St. Louis is not even going to make the playoffs next year, bro. That they had an incredible first year and then. Beginner's luck type shit. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that's going to happen to St. Louis, bro. Man. I don't know. I got SKC, Seattle in the Western Conference Finals. I love um, what well, um, Pulido and that whole offense, bro. No, like, they're, they're, watching SKC is fun, it's bro. It's a machine, bro. They are an offensive machine, and I hope that they could put it together, bro. Especially like they've had some some really shitty seasons, like <laughs> horrible, <laughs> very recently, horrible, bro. Very recently. So, um, so yeah, I say Seattle enter Miami in la final, and I see Messi hoisting up the trophy. With DeAndre Ellen, which is the ran- <laughs> the randomest thing to even with put together, yeah, you know, like like have Messi with the World Cup and instead just have Yellen. <laughs> you just have Yellen in there. <laughs> just have Yellen in the background, like what's yeah, because when Inter Miami won the uh, the league's cup, yeah, I remember he gave it to me, yeah, 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 yeah. which I thought was dope. Nah, but he's not gonna give it to Yellen there though. No, no he's like, nah. hey, this is mine. Yeah, this, I played the whole season. Was, this, yeah, this exactly. one's mine. I've been here since day one this year, so if I got it. Step away, yeah, peasant. No, honestly, step fully, away, peasant. Fully healthy, you know. what I mean the. Miami not even making the playoffs this yeah. year. They're definitely going to be in the, in the title conversation next year. Mm. If they're fully healthy, it's not even a question yep. that they, they get the whole damn thing. But Where? Hey, sleepers for next year, man. Sleeper. In the East, I got Chicago, dog. Chicago. I, th- I feel the Windy City coming, dog. I Tor- feel it. Toronto's going to do randomly good you next think- year. <gasps> Toronto's Toronto. Gonna do, they're going to do randomly good next year. Interesting. Not 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 while the Italians are still there, man. They gotta they gotta blow up that like the they gotta Italian blow up the, the roster, man. The hate that bro. They gotta blow up the hate that onies, man. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't believe in Toronto just yet until they get rid of the Italians. They're incredible players, man, but they're just not good for not Toronto FC. I got Shy Town, dog. What about in the West, man? What you think? Sleepers in the West. Hmm. Hmm. My sleeper in the West, man. I'm I'm gonna go with San Jose, bro. San Jose. I'm gonna like go with San Jose, West. man. The earthquakes. LA they Galaxy. show flashes. LA Galaxy. Crazy how we how we're now at a place in life where LA the Galaxy are sleepers. Hundred percent, bro. You don't expect nothing from them. Franchise with the most MLS cups, and they're the sleepers. Right now, I'm not facts, mad at them. But right now, like they are bottom tier when it comes to you know teams production. In LA. They got talent, but when it comes to what they do, like with, mm. with it. Interesting times, dog. Yeah, I'm like, damn, Galaxy's a sleeper? I'm with yeah, it, dog. Bro. 
I'm with it. Hey, man, big news in MLS, bro. If you enjoyed watching the U.S. Open because MLS teams were in there and because every other professional or semi-professional teams uh, in the United States was in there, you're not going to see no MLS first yeah. teams anymore. Well, ain't no, ain't no more top tier. Well, as we call it top tier, as we yeah. know it. As MLS claims to be. MLS claims to be top tier, yeah. but this, they did, this was not handled in like necessarily a top tier way, would you say? Uh I mean, like... Mixed mix feelings on it, right? Yeah, definitely mixed feelings on it. So MLS first teams are no longer going to be playing in the U.S. Open Cup anymore. Instead, they're going to be replaced by the MLS Cup... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the MLS Next Pro teams. Uh, basically, their academies. They're going to be filling in and playing the USL teams and all these other teams that's, that's going to be joining. There's a lot of angry people right now because they're saying, oh, because of the MLS... They help with the economy. Yeah. They help with pay the bi- with paying the bills for all these other teams, man. Like we like why? Why are but you the leaving? The thing is, like, how often are those games gonna be, bro? Like, how often are you gonna have that time where the MLS team comes to town and plays your team? Yeah. Like, that might be one game a year, bro. You Facts. you might get knocked out by that MLS team and you're not in the tournament no more. So you're depending on one game to pay the lights for the whole year. That's not how that's gonna work, bro. Like if if your team and mm. your organization isn't doing that shit on its own, I, I feel like, you know, you can't really expect the MLS to come in and, and hold your hand for that one, two games, three it's, games you might have. It's not MLS's responsibility, it's not, man. It's not, their, it's not their job. To keep the lights on for your franchise. So it's like, and honestly, man, although like ML, MLS first teams aren't going to be playing in this tournament anymore, this could be a great thing for the USL, 100%, bro. Yeah. And not a, not enough people are talking about this. There's a lot of people complaining online, all these different shows and podcasts, like, yo, like, fuck the MLS. They leaving out these teams yeah. to dry, these uh, smaller market second division teams. They're just going to crush their, uh, their economic, all this stuff, all this stuff, man. This is a fantastic opportunity for USL to just shove it right in MLS's face. Yeah. How and why? I'll tell you, man. Let's say a USL team wins the US Open, Open Cup. Cup. You get a berth mm. in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Come you on win. now. And let's say that USL <laughs> Cup does so well in the champion in the Champions Cup. The they can go where? The Club World Cup. A USL team in the Club World Cup. Like Bro. you wouldn't really look at that being possible because like, all right, it yeah. was a big deal with the USL a USL team beating any MLS teams, right? It's a big deal. Was it happening often? No. no. I mean, but think about how close the competition's been though. The competition was there, Yo, bro. Competition this was there. year's MLS Cup champions, the Columbus Crew, they got eliminated by a USL team in the US Open Cup yeah. this season. This season. The team that won the MLS Cup yep. got handled. Because yo, the, they were coming hungry in those in those games, a, and I feel like now that the MLS teams are out, if they come with that same hunger to win the yep. U.S. Open Cup, that basically guarantees a berth for a lower division team in the Concacaf Champions. That's Cup, amazing. Which I think is that's fire. a yeah. great because great. look at all the spots that were freaking just dedicated to just pretty much MLS teams. It was yep. just different ways to give an MLS team a berth in the in the Champions Cup. Yeah, and out of all that, all the time we've been doing that. Only one MLS team has made it to the Club World Cup, Jeez. and that's Seattle Sounders. So, man, imagine, yeah, hey, if, if imagine. the USL make it, dog. Oh my yeah, god, USL that's the make biggest it. middle fingers Bro. to the MLS ever that they could Yo, possibly if do. They make it, even if they beat one MLS team, say mm. they beat a couple, whatever, and they make it to that final and they win. Mm. That is the biggest fuck you. I that would is love like that. Complete, like yo. Honestly, I would love to see that. I'm re- like, yes, we focus more on MLS here on this show. Yeah, yes, yeah. we focus more on like U.S. Soccer. Dog, US soccer we right. ruin for American soccer, period. Facts. You feel me? I would love to see the USL do that thing, man. Yeah, bro. That would be, no, that would be dope. People talking about MLS, they might be afraid of competition, man. Nah. I mean, it, it is not a good look when an MLS team loses to, <laughs> to a quote-unquote lower division yeah. team. It's never a good look. But it happens everywhere. It happens, it happens, happens the in the Premier League. Yeah. It happens in England. Yeah, it happens in the FA Cup. It happens all the time. Bayern just lost recently to like a six-tier team or something like it that. Happens, just bro. a couple. It does happen, man. It's a part of the game right there, man. Also, um, let's see. With the MLS, they play a lot of games, bro. They play way too like so many. It, they all right. Let's put it this way. If you have a really good MLS team, man. You could possibly play up to 70 total games in a whole calendar That's year. Crazy. There's 34 MLS games, right? Uh, five to six U.S. Open Cup games. 
uh, seven leagues cup games, and this is assuming that like this team makes it to, yeah, to the finals every, to the every final time. Every seven MLS playoff games, nine games in um in a Concacaf Champions Cup, another three to four FIFA Club World Cup games, starting with the new twenty twenty five format. So like an MLS an MLS team could play up to seventy games. Seventy games, and then. Well, 71 because of the Campionas Cup. And, and that's not even... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Campionas you couldn't wait to bring that up, man. You gotta yes, have that one, bro. New York City, Campionas <laughs> Cup on the resume here. Now, um, and we're not even counting like a lot of... Well, I'm not going to say a lot, but there's a good amount of players that go out for international duty too. Yeah. So now we're adding even more games on top oh, of that, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. The guys that play international, bro, you're talking about... <laughs> It could be hundred games in a, in a calendar year. Man, it could like, easily. It's you're only risking these players more and more. And you're only gonna drive them yeah. to the ground so much faster. And it's just like I I get it. I think business wise, I understand the move, man. Uh, they want less games. They want more and more uh, games of purpose, right? Yeah. It feels like it's too much I happening. Think, I think, yo, them adding the League's Cup is really was the big kicker. Like, yeah. ever since they came with this League's Cup thing, yep. I feel like also the success of this tournament with Messi coming in and going and lighting the tournament on fire and making it just way bigger than anyone could have thought it would have been. Mm. I mean, it's kind of easy pick between the League's Cup and the Open Cup. It's like, which one do you want to invest your teams and your, your you know, Facts. Which one do you? Which one do you want to make a more prestigious, more fan? Leagues Cup just kind of took took the spot. That's all it is. One hundred percent, especially yeah. the first ever Leagues Cup being highlighted and like headlined yeah. by, of course, the goat Lionel Messi. Yeah, it's that's it. Yeah, that 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 made the Leagues Cup so much more legit. Like the Leagues Cup is something that I think is going to be way more coveted now than mm. than yeah than the Open Cup. This has been our like this has been just announced, man. Man, that decision that decision behind the scenes has been made. Been made, made bro. Been made, I, they bro. probably they probably made it the day Messi scored that free kick. Like they were like, uh, oh, well, <laughs> this is the better tournament. Like, <laughs> <I> mean, like <laughs> Facts. If you, if you think about it, like I'm like I, I just got excited for the US Open Cup like in the last year or two, Man. right? And this is the oldest yeah. um tournament yeah. Yeah. in the United States. I like, I've loved soccer my whole life, bro. Like but I don't, Open Cup, it nah. wasn't ever publicized like that. And then Orlando won it and we the shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we the best. But um mm. is I also just thought about the whole Messi effect thing. He didn't they play against Houston who won it? Yeah. So let's just say Alternate universe. If mm. Messi ends up lifting the Open Cup trophy, does MLS stay? <laughs> does MLS stay for at least another year or or two? Just because the, it's it's received the messy touch of approval. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I guess we'll never know, man. Yeah, obviously. I but guess like, we'll never you know. know. I mean, it, just. I would have loved like, to see it. Like that, yeah. I would have loved to see it, man. But yeah. this is one of those things that we'll just absolutely absolutely never know, and. Messi honestly could give a fuck less. He was like, all right, another trophy. One of these trophies. I'm another gonna one. Yeah. I know. Just add one. it to my pile of World Cups. So. I don't care what the name of the trophy. Just it's as long it, yeah. as we win it, I'm good with that. Yeah. Man. Ever since the World Cup, he's just gonna like, say, hey, "Okay, it's a trophy. It's like whatever." <laughs> man, and you know, yeah, it was just what yesterday, uh, last, last year, year man. Year ago, the, yeah, World Cup final. World Cup final, yeah. dog. Yeah. What a moment. What yo? It's been a year, bro. Watching that World Cup was a global experience that we were all a part of, man. Yeah. It was probably one of the most funnest times ever as a soccer fan for me yeah, personally, yeah, and bro. I can imagine for millions and millions of people. One of, of the best people. games ever played, bro. Facts. Yeah, for sure. So. Hey, man. World Cup is done. That's a year ago, man. But it's getting hot, though, here in this, yo, in South Florida, man. Here in the United States, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. We got some balling coming to the States, boy. Copa America ticket prices for the summer tournaments officially dropped man we got you know here in miami in south florida we got three matches being played at hard rock stadium whoo man 2024 copa america it's a lot it's a lot of expensive bro. ass tickets bro i checked um just the final <laughs> la final which is gonna be here in miami bro here in miami the cheapest wow. ticket one ticket 2700 2700 bro i was yeah i was looking and here in miami we're gonna have a couple more games too yeah. we're gonna have the final that Crazy ticket price. Yeah. What else? We're gonna have Argentina Peru. So Messi's gonna play here. That's gonna be expensive. Those tickets are already running like eight hundred. The cheapest, the next cheapest is over a stack. Damn. You got Uruguay Panama is also gonna be played here. How much is that? That's right around the similar price, like Jeez. six, seven hundred at least. Okay. At least. What do we go a little more north? What do we go to Orlando? We got Orlando, we got Bolivia Panama mm. over there. 
that's okay. also going for for a decent number, like nine, eight, nine hundred. Bolivia, Panama. Yeah, like eight, nine hundred a eight, ticket. Eight, nine hundred for a ticket, bro. Wow. In Orlando, and then Damn. we also got um, a four versus Chile. We got a a four. <laughs> we got yeah. They a still random got, like, one team left to select. Probably a Concacaf yeah. team. Like maybe like on Honduras or something like that. Honduras you were saying? Right? Them, yeah, 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 right. bro. So, dog. So, if you're coming to Miami. Mm. We got all right. These are the games. We got the twenty third of June, yeah. the 29th of June, yeah. and the fourteenth of July. Those Fire. are the games in Miami. Basically, for that whole two weeks, in between the first and the last game that's happening in Miami, dog, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Traffic, man. And the, bro, get a hotel. Yeah. And walk to the game. Yep. <laughs> Take Ubers. Yo, this leave is... your car where you park it, Fast. bro. It's just you... don't don't even have a car. Yeah, dog. yeah. Don't car? even pay for insurance and no. nothing like that. Car <laughs> no, not, like just don't even have a sell, car. Sell your car to buy the tickets. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, you know. Yeah, Priorities. Yeah, you only live once. What are we talking about, dog? Uh, this is only gonna be a preview. Yeah. To what's to come in the World Cup? The World man. Cup's coming, and they're gonna have games in these same locations. You here, think there's gonna be know. traffic? In a few what? months, man, this summer, bro, for Copa America. Yo. I mean, it is that, yes, there is, but man, what? You know, the Club World Cup is coming too, right? Next year? Well, technically 20, 2025. 2025. I'm, I'm so my mind is already in 2024. Copa America, Club World Cup, and then World Cup. And then Cup. the World Cup. Like three years in a row in a year. Back US. to back to back, bro. What are they trying to do? Like, what's the, yeah. what's the angle here? You, they just trying to get U.S. to win something, dog. Yeah, bro. U.S. got to win something. We got to win something. Bro, if we don't have... Yeah, if we... Like, honestly, I really think mm. MLS teams need to start focusing more on that CONCACAF Champions Cup. Like, we can't take it lightly. We got to really go in there trying to win that, bro. Because we should be in the Club World Cup. Like, we should be in the Club 100%. World Cup. 100%. MLS ha- yeah. teams. And if we don't make it to the damn Club World Cup mm. that's played in America, mm. if an MLS team is not represented and it's fucking Leon or a team from Mexico that wins it again, yeah, bro, we... Boo. Come on, dog. We need to make sure we got... Because it's going to be a different Yo. format. It's going to be more teams this time. There's Has has Messi ever won a Club World Cup? The, the Sounders... Oh, the Sounders, the Sounders are, are yeah. guaranteed in, so... So, can Messi not play in a Club World Cup? I mean... I'm sure he can Messi's qualify. In, well, not yeah. into Miami, but just Messi. <laughs> <laughs> just Messi himself. Just, just Messi by himself. Yeah. I mean, sure. like, the best possible publicity for the Club World Cup would will be, be Inter Miami doing Miami well. Man. Oh my god. Yeah. What? Inter Miami needs to needs needs to win a cup now so they can get yeah. I'm yeah. I'm rooting for Inter Miami. I just want to see Messi just like. <laughs> yeah. Is it? We only have so much Messi we're left, have, man. Th- we're gonna have at least 2024. And maybe 2026 mm. of Messi playing major international tournaments in America. The Messi's what 35 right now? 36. He's, he's gonna play next year. Hey Siri. He's gonna play next year. He's how 36, old is is he? 36. Yeah, I'm about to check. Hey Siri, how old is Lionel Messi? 36. 36. Bro. So by the time the World Cup comes, he'll be 38. That's old as fuck for soccer, don't give a bro. Fuck, Max Messi don't give Crazy. a fuck. He just started hitting the gym too. Messi don't care. Crazy man, man he been in the gym not... with his wife, dog, and that big ass, built ass, bodybuilder ass trainer, bro. <laughs> Messi doing chin ups, man, and you hear him struggling at nine. Is yo, it, it's it's he's really God's hey. gift, bro. Yeah. He's really God's gift. Yeah. It's unbelievable, man. Wait till he push that bitch to 12, 15. What? Man. Right. Sorry, body and defenders off him. He already does, G- his little G- ass. I know. It's crazy. He's a, I don't yeah. even know. How, like, he, he's so little, absorbs all the... Dog, it's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. He's a monster. Go by America. Uh, any advice for people visiting? I told you. Miami. I just said, don't don't park. That's right. <laughs> it, or park your car and don't move it. Mm. Uber everywhere, walk everywhere. Traffic is going to be insane. Like a a two mile drive will take 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> you know, oh, like facts. and that's not even exaggeration, bro. Facts. That's just a regular fun weekend in Miami. So when it gets to, you know, major international soccer game in Miami, yeah. bruh. Everyone already likes to come here for for everything else. So mm. it's like whenever there's a major sporting event in Miami, it's like that plus all the crazy other events that are going on. And good times. Yeah. Good it's gonna be, times it's gonna be to fun. come. I'm trying to go to one of those games. I'm trying Facts. to go to. I might. I gotta see Messi play. I gotta go to Argentina, Peru. Because then I don't have to. I don't have to cheer. Yeah. For Inter Miami while I watch Messi play, I can cheer for Argentina while I watch Messi <laughs> play. You feel me? I love that, yo. Hey, man, yeah. Captain America, Christian Pulisic in Europe. That boy balling right now, man. Balling He's been basketball. incredible for AC Milan. Comparing his time with Chelsea versus his time with AC Milan, bro. 
They're more connected, man. Yeah, it's they a different, look like it's a a different team. team. Yeah, they look like they're gelling. Yeah. Like they, you could tell they get along off the field. Mm-hmm. Bro, dog, the team made Eunice Musa and Pulisic a Thanksgiving meal. Now, that's amazing. Now, Italian people being in charge of Thanksgiving food Interesting. could oh. be really good. But or it could be ass. Like, but ass. It could be. Because, bro, what reference do they have for Thanksgiving food? I mean, just throwing any times? Italian dish in there, bro. Oh, just putting Italian just food? Just putting mad Italian food, bro. Just It's a feast, man. They go with uh, I don't, I don't. I thought they were talking about like the traditional Thanksgiving food. Like, I would, like, I would Because how many times have they made that in their life? No, never. Never, right? Like, never. Like, but I wouldn't trust Italians, Italians something like sweet potato casserole bro, or something. Italians can cook. They like, can. They can fucking cook. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> so, bro. That's so dope, man. Yeah, that, I might yeah. not mind it. Yeah, trying to trying to make them feel home, man. Pulisic has been a big, 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 probably one of the biggest reasons as to why AC Milan has been so successful this season. Yeah. Um, man, historic run happening right now for the American. First U.S. men's player to score in the Champions League for three, three. different teams, man. In the Champions League, bro, bro. This season, he's got 14 goals and five assists, bro. Um, Top rated player, ball in, bro. Honestly, I'm gonna say it. Like, say it, say it. Bah. Landon Donovan is bah. the goat. Bah. Landon Donovan is the goat, but bah. Pulisic is the boat, the best of all time. The boat, the boat. Pulisic is the best the f- player. There's a difference between greatest and best, and Pulisic is the best. So, all right, okay, I know what you mean. Like, Pulisic is the in best. terms of. A soccer player, the quality, p- the of most the player. talented player we've ever the had. The best is Pulisic. The yes. best has been put, but the, the greatest, goal. the greatest. That's a different. I what, mean, that you do good makes, shit with this. What makes on. Donovan greater than Pulisic? The way he, the way he carried the team, bro. The way P- he, and Pulisic don't. Not he don't be the, carrying the squad. Not to that extent. He sacrificed yeah, yeah, yeah. America's nuts. His own. His, His own. America's <laughs> nuts, bro. Yeah, bro. For a World Cup goal. I guess we didn't do that much better in the World Cup then. But like I don't know, man. It's just I, I gotta see more. I gotta see more greatness on the U.S. side. Still, Pulisic still needs to be seen. But he's the best. He's the boat. Oh, okay. Correction, correction on the stats. In 14 games, he has five goals and four assists. He's not got 14 goals. That would be insane. Still, but nine yeah. goal contributions is nothing. To still the, lit. Nothing to go off that. that boy still lit. Right. Yo, yeah, best. He's the best. All right. I ain't mad at that argument. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I mean, Donovan, he was great. One of the greatest. Ah, man. My GOAT, excluding Pulisic, is Dempsey. Dempsey. I love Dempsey, mm, though. That Dempsey. Like, that's my American GOAT, man, yeah. when we talk about, like, back in the day and all. Yeah. But ah, that's that's just the Donovan-Dempsey argument, bro. For me already, Pulisic is the greatest American soccer player ever. He's the, he's the GOAT. Like, for me, he's the GOAT, dog. He, there, there's just never been a better player than him. So I understand that, your best that's argument. That's why I like, say he's the best. He's right? just all over, like this is the way he dances with the ball. Yeah. He dances around like world class players, bro. He's a Champions League winner. He's got, he's, bro. He's gotten. Yo, Donovan struggled getting off the bench in Europe, in dog. Europe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Dempsey, like you know, he had a he had a very fair career at Fulham. You know, decent, like, decent. he had a good career. He decent, had a good career. Yeah. Like, but we talking about. Champions League winner, winner. starter Scorer. on that team, yeah, scoring. scoring in the tournament for and three it, different teams. Yeah, best go, <laughs> Hey so, man. So are we putting more stock into into like performing at those higher levels in Europe than absolutely. we are putting and performing against Mexico and Jamaica? Oh, one hundred percent, absolutely. Because like he does that too. Fair. So he like Dempsey and Dan- Donovan, they've showed up against the against the Mexicos and the Canadas and like these international like. He, they've showed up, right? Mm-hmm. Pulisic has showed up too. Yeah, man. When it comes to that European conversation, Donovan didn't show up, dog. He ain't really show up in Europe, man. Dempsey, he showed up. He, he like like I said, he, he had a good, moments. he, he had a moments. good, a, a solid, productive career in Europe, man. With Fulham, yeah. Pulisic, twenty six years old, 26, 27, 28, like Whatever. mid to late twenty eight. Dog, he's had already a great, a fucking great European great career, career, man. Yeah. The greatest American soccer career ever yeah. in Europe. Yeah, no, that that for sure. The career in Europe, not nah, not even a question. And that is why he is my goat. Ah, let's go, Pooley. He's my boat, though. My, he's my, my boat. Shout out to my boat. He's my boat. <laughs> hey, man, you already know, man. This is the last episode of the season for the kickoff lounge, man. And at the end of every episode, we like to end some, you know, end the show on some positive vibes. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. 
Come on now, it's time for that feel good things. Feel good things. Hey man, I'm gonna let you take this first one, dog. Go yeah, ahead. bro. First black coach yes, to win an NF, uh, NFL MLS Cup. Damn. First black coach to win the MLS Cup, Mr. Mm. Nancy. Shout out to that boy. Well done. I, he, I mean, I, bro, I gotta take the hat off. To, take my hat off to that brother. Like he just he did it. He did. He did it. Honestly. No one really expected them to win. Mm. They always had the quality to, and they had they actually had a really good season when you look yeah. at it on paper. Yeah, but they were they were kind of like you know overlooked. So fact, they know. made motherfuckers look facts. after that Cincy game. Super facts, man. Everyone looks. Super facts, man. Yeah, yeah. Shouts to Will for Nancy, man. Hey, man, let's go over to Europe to the Netherlands. Uh, PSV he? exercising the buy options on U.S. men's national team teammates. Serginho Dest and Malik Tillman just a couple days ago, too. Malik Tillman gave this nice pass over to Serginho Dest for his finish for a goal, man. Beautiful. That American connection for PSV. PSV has been balling, dog. Yeah, they are. They've been, one, honestly, one of the best teams in Europe. And they're in, they're in, the, they're in the next round of the Champions League. Yeah? Right? Yeah. They've been one of the best teams in Europe in terms of efficiency. Statistically, dog, they're killing it right now. Yeah, no, no. And so, they had a few Americans. Are yeah. we still mad at Serginho? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, I just want to see more, more of this. You know, yeah, more yeah. consistency. Yeah, yeah. Ball out. You saw, you saw what he did, bro. Yeah. Serginho. That shit was dirty, dog. That that reverse elastico. Nasty, bro. That shit he's, was dirty. Bro, he's so good, bro. He's very. He's good, bro. I we just need him to get his head straight, man. Yeah. Cause like Gio Reyna ain't got his head straight the other day, man. No. Like you saw that with Matt Hummels. No, what he do, bro? Like he was arguing with Matt Hummels on the field. Hummels bro. is an OG, bro. Hey, you can't be arguing with Matt Hummels, dog. Nah, He's the captain the and the leader He's of the, the team. Captain, yeah. Dog is ridiculous, man. Yeah, I, like, and I know this is feel good things. That's not making me feel good right now. <laughs> but, but feel bad things. Feel bad things. <laughs> <laughs> But Dest, he's taking it in stride. He yeah, took man. accountability, and all you can do is, you know, just take it one day at a time from there. Facts, you feel me? So facts. he's playing great. PSV love him. Clearly, they're buying, a, they're buying an option to extend him. Malik Tillman, too. He's been balling out there as well. Yeah, um, hey, champ, let's get you in the room, big so, dog. Also, we got one more feel good thing. What's up? The Copa America Sorteo. Yes, sir. Oh, bro, yeah, man. You I was did working that event. Security at the Copa America Sorteo, bro. The draw. Like, for, yeah, for those who don't know, that's the draw. If you don't know why we have a draw in soccer, it's to determine the groups in the group stage of the Copa America. Yeah. Four groups of four teams, mm-hmm. so they had four people drawing. And Hey, who you meet? One of the people drawing yeah. was a childhood hero of mine. Who is that? Of both of us. Ronaldinho Gaucho. Oh, my God. Dog. R10 himself. Bro, I met Ronaldinho. I shook hands. With Ronaldinho. That's amazing, though. I looked this man in the Which face, hand is it? Which hand is it? My right hand. Let me touch it. Bro. Wow. I, Bro. Feel, I feel the magic. The next person that catches a right hand in the <laughs> ring is going to get some Joga Bonito on that point. I love they are going that. to Joga Bonito to sleep. Boy, I'm about to... No, that's... Yo. Ronaldinho. That's amazing. Dog, and like, in my head, it wasn't going through my... Like, when I saw everything going on, everything just happened so fast. Because the guy that hired me for the gig yeah. didn't tell me. What I was going to. He just was like, yeah, we got a celebrity event. Put on a suit and tie. We're going to Miami. It was a super immediate high. A super immediate. Yeah, bro. It's just everything just started coming. Like, I, I get there. Rush. I see the Copa America banner. I'm like, are we doing this, this event? No. <laughs> no. And then they give me the lanyard that says Copa America Security. Fire. That, and I'm just like. Fire. And they put me up front where I'm greeting all the freaking legends as they walk in, bro. I met El Pibe Valderrama. I met. Lionel Scaloni, the Sheesh. World Cup winning coach from Argentina. I met Javier Zanetti. I met wow. Freddy Guarín. Guarín is Di- Colombia. Dida walked by. Uh, wow. Higuaín, Maxi Rodriguez. Like, everybody that we talked about from that Comebol game yeah. was there. And, of course, Ronaldinho. Uh, bro, Freddy That's Guarín. Amazing. Like, literally, like, so many legends That's of South American soccer. Yo, but you- I shook hands with them. I talked to them. I, like... I just hung out with them. And the moment that I know that you just never forget for the rest of your life, man, is that handshake with Ronaldinho, dog. 100%. That's bro. amazing. It's just crazy. And then, like, getting to watch a sorteo, and it was like, you know, it was a cool little event. They unveiled the ball, they did all the, like, the freestyle tricks on stage, yeah. and fire. Showed all, all the, the tournament locations, like, just a whole bunch of just vibes leading up to the tournament. And they did the draw. I got to be the first one to see the groups. Like, Fire. You know what I'm saying? Right there in the room watching. The, yeah, it was they messed lit. up too at one point, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no. They just had to rearrange a couple things. That's gotcha. all it was, yeah. 
But dog, it was just such a crazy dope event, man. bro. And I got I got paid to be at this event. Like, Fire! I didn't, man. That's I would I would have paid. That's something I that paid money to go. That's something that'll make you feel good. Yeah. You feel me? Things, bro. So dope, man. Hey, champ, let's get you in the room if you in there, dog. We gotta we gotta do some shout outs, man. First of all, first shout out definitely goes to the man behind the scenes. Yes, bro. The man behind the brand. Yeah, the bro. one who had the vision to begin with. Ladies and gentlemen, they call him Campeoncito in the streets, but right here we call him producer champ. Champ, what up, what up, what up? champ. Insert applause button. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, take my mic. Go ahead. Couple shout outs. Couple shout outs real quick. Yeah. You know, we've been building this thing and you know, shout out everybody who's been rocking with us. So, Orlando City Insider, uh, Black Star Soccer, yeah. All Access USL, they was yeah. with us early on. Juan Carlos, NYCFC writer extraordinaire. Yeah. Lily Beth, Area Sports Network. McVay. Yeah. My dog. McVay. Message teammate. He's our friend. <laughs> <laughs> Alexito, we see you with the call up. Keep yeah, doing it, thing, young boy. The USA. Killing it. FC Cincy Central, yeah. uh, the other club supporter pages, uh, Houston Dynamo memes, rocking with y'all. Yanni, that's your boy, right? My boy Yanni C, though. Hey, what up, man? What up, hey. what up? Uh, the Sports Spectator, uh, Travel Football Fan, Mr. Navarro, what's up? Katie Digital, thank you. Uh, a massive, massive, massive shout out yeah. to US Soccer Plus. Uh, really appreciate the love y'all been showing. Sure, and sure. everyone that's shared, hit the like on posts. I said that follow button, bless up. Really appreciate y'all. Yeah. Hey, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Be bro. well. Thank you. Yeah, bro. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep it rocking. Let me let me get out of the way let these boys close it out the real way. Nah. So, hold, hold, hold on, Chan. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In case the fans want to follow you, where they, where can they follow you at though, man? Me. They see uh, us, man, but you three, really the brains behind this. It's but it's a team effort. But three four old champ B, that's your boy. E. Three four old champ B. Uh yeah, but follow the kickoff lounge. Don't worry about me. Yeah, just you follow the kickoff lounge. lounge. Just, just you'll find us all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we all there. We the comments and we in, we in, we, we, we in the mix. hitting likes. You know, we, we there. We there. Squad, squad. But appreciate y'all. Yeah, I'll be back twenty twenty four. You still be posting, so don't you worry. And yeah, that's it. That's, it's on y'all. It's on y'all. Hey bro, what's your name? You already know, man. Your boy Al Pizzle and your boy Big Miles. We out. See you next season, bitch. Hey. Ooh, that was heavy. In the headphones, that shit's sick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>